In May of 2010, the Maryland Ready Mix Concrete Association, the American Concrete Pavement Association, the Maryland SHA, and dozens of suppliers and contractors combined efforts to demonstrate fast-track concrete overlay construction of asphalt pavements, also known as white topping. The demonstration was performed at the Benfield Boulevard Park and Ride in Millersville, Maryland, where highway traffic conditions affecting construction operations could be simulated in an existing asphalt paved parking lot. Lane closures and road construction can create costly delays to the traveling public. Additionally, environmental and economic pressures are increasing giving concrete paving an opportunity to prove its ability to meet traffic and sustainability needs. To simulate real-life traffic, a park and ride was identified and two 170-foot long, 12-foot wide traffic lanes were simulated to represent either mainline paving or intersection lanes. The goal was to close a lane, resurface the lane, open it for service as quickly as possible and immediately commence resurfacing on the adjacent lane. The ability to open a lane for service was to be determined by on-site match cure test cylinders achieving 2000 PSI. Using typical safety procedures, lane 1 was closed to simulated traffic. Construction began at 5.30 a.m. with milling the existing asphalt to a depth of only 3 inches needed for this demonstration while in other applications, more depth may be required based on asphalt cores and traffic load category. Once the milling was complete, the exposed asphalt was cleaned to provide a surface to allow proper bonding of the new concrete. As with most concrete overlays, no bonding agent was needed. Within an hour and 50 minutes of closure, concrete was delivered to the project by six ReadyMix concrete companies. The concrete was produced at a ready-mix concrete batch plant about 30 minutes from the job site. Three inches of concrete was inlaid, allowing the surrounding unmilled asphalt to be used as a form for the concrete. In other applications where milling is not needed, other methods, including traditional concrete forms, would be used instead. The concrete mix used was a test of a new performance-based patch mix for the SHA with a design strength of 2,000 PSI in six hours and an ultimate 28-day strength of 4,000 PSI. The mix contained admixtures to achieve this high strength in a short time and synthetic macrofibers for cracking control with no need for any additional reinforcement. The performance mix was designed by the Maryland Ready Mix Concrete Association's Technical Committee and the State Highway Administration. A 3D laser screed was used to screed the concrete in lane 1, followed by a burlap drag finish. A membrane curing compound was used to retain moisture in the pavement surface. Ambient temperature and match cure temperature cylinders were created to test the concrete on site and determine when the lane would be ready to reopen. Other tests were performed for air content, temperature and yield. Within one hour and 40 minutes, the concrete developed sufficient strength to begin saw cutting joints at a spacing in feet equal to the inches depth of the concrete, meaning this three inch overlay resulted in a three foot by three foot jointing pattern. According to ACI specifications, joint sealing is usually not required or needed, so the joints were not sealed. After three hours, an on-site brake machine began tests of the compressive strength of the concrete. As the strength increased toward 2,000 PSI, cylinders were broken at shorter time intervals of 30, 15, and 10 minutes, with the concrete achieving over 2,500 PSI within three hours and 52 minutes of placement. Only seven hours and 45 minutes after closure, lane one was reopened to simulated traffic. The construction of lane two began immediately, repeating the milling and cleaning of the asphalt. Once lane two was prepared, concrete was delivered via lane one. 70,000 pound mixer trucks successfully drove over the newly constructed concrete overlay pavement. In contrast to methods used on lane one, a roller screed was used in lane two with similar results. Seven hours after lane two closure, Match Cure compression test specimens developed over 2,000 PSI and the lane was reopened to simulated traffic. 
The results provided the Maryland State Highway Administration with a more environmentally friendly and cost-effective paving option that can also meet the need for short lane closure times and diminish the impact to the traveling public in high traffic areas. Where lane closures are not as great a concern, more cost-effective concrete overlay options should be considered. As other states have proved, the value to the Maryland taxpayer will endure for generations as concrete pavements and overlays last decades longer, reduce the urban heat island effect, require 30% less lighting, and are 4 to 7% more fuel efficient to drive on.